Hey guys, uh, I'm sure you probably heard about that uh, women-only women screening of Wonder Woman that's going on recently. Well, you know, there's been this one guy, Steve Miller, who I follow on Twitter. He's also writes for Heat Street. He recently purchased a ticket, a ticket to this, and you know, he was accepted. They, you know, they cannot refuse to, you know, sell him one because he can just say he identifies as a woman, and under law they are not allowed to turn him away. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of these anti-discrimination laws that these people, you know, have created and pushed for are now going to be used against them. Like, it, I'm all fine with people, with girls wanting to do an only girl's thing, or men wanting to do an only men's thing, or, or black people, or Asians, whatever. You know, but when you're creating these laws... What you're a lot of the times what they're really doing is just saying like we don't want like men or white men essentially to come here so you know now because of transracialism transgenderism if i say i identify as like a, ma a female or uh black and you know this is under law now even though you have a private business you can't turn me away and what what this is pretty interesting is, is what you've been seeing is that a lot of people are going to the Stephen Miller guy and going like, oh, they're a private business. They can turn away anybody they want, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, no, not anymore. Not because of the stuff you guys wanted to pass. So now you're all for freedom of association and these types of things because, you know, now this, this white guy wants to get in and wants to listen. But you're like, no, no, we don't want you here. Well, too bad. You know, maybe you should uh, scale back a few of these things, and that way it won't be as bad. But, you know, this is this is a lot of the times what the progressive ideology leads to. It just leads to more segregation. Like, there's a university that is having separate graduations, where it's just like, just for black people, and, you know, even, but the white people can't have their own, right? And a lot of them probably don't even want their own, but let's just say they did they don't have that same privilege right to do it like other people do because they're going to be called racist you know white supremacist blah 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 but yeah like the like i said this progressive ideology all it really does is move towards more segregation and more things like this but then the the laws they're pushing are too general whereas really they should just make laws against white men because that's pretty much who they want to keep out of a lot of things right they're just like, mm, you know, we're going to make it kind of general. So, you know, when, when people do uh, bitch about these discriminations, we can, you know, pretty much they'll only take it seriously when it's white people, when it's, uh, when they're saying like, oh, it's a white person that's discriminating against me. But then when, the, when a white person say, is saying that a black person's discriminating against them or a woman, then they're not going to be taken seriously. Like these are how these laws are generally applied. Like, you're not going to see a white person win a discrimination case, oftentimes, if ever, against a black person. Like, that's just not the way it works. But yeah, so, you know, this is pretty hilarious. You just see the feminist raging at the Stephen Miller guy right now. Like, I seen one girl on Twitter, she did a 30-part a tweet. Like, these kids, these millennials have just been totally radicalized totally uh you know it's a, it's arrested development like they're not adults they're not adult bodies but they've been coddled their whole lives that they literally cannot just fathom somebody like fucking with them or you know making fun of them and poking fun at their ideology like they just cannot handle it and you know this is the problem nowadays we just become very weak and a lot of us, yeah, we, we've just become bitches. And we let pretty much people tell us what to do. <laughs> and, you know, we, we freak out when people disagree with us. We hit them with bike locks. We throw stones at them. We dress up like Antifa and <laughs> break Starbucks windows, which are essentially progressive, just like me, right? So, you know, and you're against capitalism, but you're on your cell phone buying this, this, and that. It's like... You know, you guys are our capitalists, whether you like it or not. But, you know, <laughs> I, 
I just, you know, this is this is near the end of the progressive ideology, I think. Like, obviously, they're always going to be around, but the pendulum has definitely swung too far to the left. And it's, it's, it's gone, I think, as far as it's going to go, maybe a little bit further, but now it's swinging back. And, you know, <laughs> these people are going to lose more and more credibility the more they speak, the more they rage and show how, like, you know, how big of children they really are. How they can't just speak like adults and, you know, just, just fucking relax. <laughs> but, you know, if you like my content, subscribe and have a great day. See ya.